decided to sit in our outdoor space here and take this opportunity to really thank you for your support and um, your ongoing prayers and wishes in regards to a very close family member that was in a terrible accident. Yeah. Um, he's doing much better, unfortunately he's still in the hospital and will be there for several months. But overall, he's alive, he's here with us and we are forever grateful for that. Right. So again, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it, and please keep us in your prayers. Yeah, this was uh, this was actually very tough, the toughest Christmas that we've ever had. Not to mention, it was the first and only Christmas we've ever spent apart since being together. Since being together, <laughs> where we're in different countries, not even apart. Like yeah. you know, she's at her family's house, or I'm at my family's house. We're in different countries. Guys, I flew by myself for the first time. Yeah, I don't love flying, and um, unfortunately, Kenny had to stay, and I had to fly to New York, and yeah. I thought about him every single day. I text him and called him oh, yeah. on, on my way to the airport. Oh my gosh, I had tummy aches. I was so nervous um, and I missed him dearly. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was actually pretty tough because I was in an apartment complex where you had other apartments and you could see their Christmas gatherings. And the only thing you could do is think of my wife and what she's Aww. going through in the hospital. So it, yeah. it was, it, it didn't feel like Christmas this year, unfortunately. Yeah. Not what we were, you know, what we had to go through and still going right. through. But, uh, but the support that you guys gave us really, really came through and kind of, it, it really just... It sent, feels good. It feels right. good. You guys sending your prayers. It sent the message that you, you're not, you weren't alone, you know? So it felt yeah. good to truly, from the bottom of our hearts, Thank, Thank you, you for much. taking the time out as well, right? Yeah. You know, so yeah. that's important. Um, so, that being said, we are here in Merida. We left Playa de Carmen. And um, we're just, honestly, we're getting comfortable. I'm excited to be reunited with Kenny. Yeah, you know, so we actually... She... I was afraid. Wait, wait, wait. I was afraid because they were canceling flights. And I was, oh, like, devastated. Gosh. I was like, oh, my God, I've never been apart from him. So I would just, like... Having these crazy ideas of how I would get back to Mexico. But. Oh, wait a minute. So, you, some of you guys are probably saying, wait a minute, Christmas alone. Yeah, this accident happened just before Christmas, mm -hmm. and she actually flew back yeah. and Spent some time just recently got there. back mm -hmm. to Mexico. We actually took a bus, the Ados bus, all the way to uh, from Playa del Carmen to Merida, and uh, this is it. This and is here we are. Uh, we're excited to be back together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I showed you how noisy this apartment, this Airbnb can oh, be, yes. right? It is so loud. Honestly. That's why we had to come in the backyard. Mm -hmm. to Honestly, film this. the stay itself is comfortable. Very I'm comfortable, comfortable. The bed is comfortable. It's clean, yada, yada. It's just, I am struggling with the noise. I suffer yeah. from migraine, but I've slept with my face mask to cover my eyes because it's too bright. I sleep earplugs. with earplugs and maybe tonight we should show them how we set up to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. You know what? So what happens is uh, from 5.30 in the morning, the buses start running. And We're on are, the main road. Yeah. These are older buses, guys, and they're falling apart. They rattle a lot. And I think the room that we're in... It's not properly sealed. Right. There's also, there's also, it has high ceilings, and I guess maybe that causes like an echo. But it sort of amplifies what's going on outside. I mean, Honestly, I feel like a plane is landing in our, on our front door. Yeah, like. it's good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I think enough of that. Let's just head out and go check out Marina and take you guys with yeah, us. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go. All right, let's go. First impressions of Merida? It's loud. <laughs> well, Super it's loud. Only, it's only loud if you're going, if you're walking on a bus. On a bus route, route yeah. And the buses are older. Right. And uh, man, I tell you, they literally are falling apart. I this think guy. they're falling apart, but. I think really? What's this? 
Okay. What's that? Huh? With the exception of that one. That is loud as ever. I, I'm screaming in hopes that you hear me. I'm pretty sure they can hear you. Oh man. But besides the besides the loudness, I'm happy they have sidewalks. That's a good thing. You Another bus. Sidewalks. This is what we hear from our apartment from 5:30 on. Every rush so hour. Like 10:30 p.m. Well, one of the so. one of the good things is that all the buildings are beautiful. The colonial style, some of them, and they're all pastel colors. So that's a nice touch to it. That's a nice touch. Yes. And so far, everyone has been really nice. Yeah, I have to say that. I, I think um, all of Mexico so far, where we all visited, of Mexico have been. Is, yeah. You know, honestly, every country so far that we visited, people have been absolutely friendly and welcoming, which is kind of a plus for us. Yeah, <laughs> we've been lucky with that. So. Um, yeah. All right, so we're just gonna continue walking and. Um, Try not to get hit. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> He's like, beep, beep. <laughs> the car behind him was honking. Yeah. guys after half an hour walk we made it to the central but the walk was awesome it was quite noisy scenic tons of people <laughs> lots of buses going by a lot of stores you get to see how uh, the people shop it was quite interesting right especially when we got to that building with all the shops and we were walking through it oh yeah I don't yeah know that was it. nice some sort of in fact someone here found something to buy I did let me show you guys not that I need anything. I'll be getting rid of one of Kenny's shirts to put this one in. <laughs> but isn't this so cute? How much did you pay colors? for that? I paid six dollars, six US dollars, 115 pesos. I'm loving Merida already. And it's good quality as well. Yeah, I'm sure. But you know what, guys? Guess what? That's it for you. That's no more. It. So make sure you tune in to next Sunday as we explore Merida. 